Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Play Arts Kai figures. This is probably the hardest top 10 list that i put together so far. There are tons of great figures. Uh, however, some of the great figures come at a really high price point and some come at a lower price point. So it, it's very, it's not arbitrary, but a lot of the figures could be interchanged for various reasons. So I had to pare it down and this is what I came up with. The Devil May Cry 4 Dante is one of the older figures and it has a lot of the old engineering. It's not a perfect figure by any means, but it still has a really nice appeal, a fairly good likeness, and a nice paint job. You can see there's lots of nice detail throughout the outfit, the articulation works pretty well, comes with his iconic accessories, and just has a lot of shelf appeal. So despite its flaws, it's a really solid figure and a must have for any DMC fans. The Arkham Asylum Armored Batman is probably the best Play Arts Kai Batman figure from the Arkham games. It's got a great balance of sculpt and paint, and it has really nice proportions. It has the articulated cape and some accessories. It's really got everything you want. Unfortunately, it's really far out of scale and still has a little bit of that wide hip syndrome. So, it's not a perfect figure, but they kind of, they kind of went off course with the later releases, with the fixed capes and back heavy figures and just some really odd problems. So this one is a really nice addition to the collection. The Arkham City Harley Quinn is another great example of a fairly simple figure that's done so well that it makes up for the simplicity. She's got a ton of detail packed into her, her articulation works really well, she has a great shelf appeal, a very clean paint job. The only real issue with this thing is the face isn't completely accurate, but it's still a really nice looking face so it's easy to overlook. She comes with some cool accessories and you can get her in plenty of poses despite her a somewhat unusual shoe design. It's, it's gonna be fine, no problem at all, and you can see your thong, so that's always cool too. The DC variant Wonder Woman is a fairly basic figure, but it is a great example of how a basic figure can be great. It does everything it needs to do. It's got a good sculpt job, good paint job, good articulation. We finally have some nice knees. She's got high heels that she can still stand in, and she has really nice shelf appeal. Of course, the extra skin is always a bonus, but in terms of the variants, she's probably one of the best, so she has to make it onto the list. The variant Boba Fett was met with kind of a mixed reception. A lot of people complained that his head was too small, and they're not actually wrong. The head's a little bit small, but the rest of the figure is phenomenal. It's got a great paint job, fantastic sculpts, and that really cool flame accessory on top of a bunch of other accessories. There's no arguing that this guy's going to make a great shelf piece for a Star Wars fan. The Star Wars variant Darth Vader is a figure that most people liked. Even hardcore Star Wars fans could get behind the new look, which I have to say I think is fantastic. It's a great version of Darth Vader that brings him kind of a more realistic, futuristic look while still maintaining his classic appeal. And he's got really good articulation, some really cool accessories, a nice paint job, and just a really nice overall shelf appeal. You really can't go wrong with this guy. He's going to be a great addition to any Star Wars collection. The Halo 5 Master Chief figure is a really good figure. The only reason I gave it not so great of a review is because of the price point. Price point aside, the figure is really solid. It does have some issues with the proportions, but overall the paint job and the sculpt job is pretty good. So if you can get past the price point, this is a must have figure. There's not a better option of this armor for the Master Chief by any company. This is it. The Super Street Fighter 4 line from Play Arts Kai was pretty hit or miss. Luckily, Sakura was definitely a hit. She's probably the best figure out of the bunch. Not probably. She is. She's fantastic. She's got the great new knee joints. She's got a really nice likeness, great range of motion, and just a really nice shelf appeal. And who doesn't like long, bare legs? That's always a nice plus in a short skirt. Can't complain about that. The Appleseed Alpha Dunin is probably one of the most accurate sculpts, most accurate likenesses, best all-around figure that I've seen from any company ever. They really nailed this. She looks just like she's supposed to. She's got all of the articulation you could want. She's got the proper accessories, which are plentiful. She's got a nice paint job. The sculpts are super clean. Everything about this figure screams quality, and it was at a really low price point when it came out, so that makes it even better. 
can't go wrong with this figure. The Halo 2 Master Chief is probably the all-around best Master Chief figure to date from any company. Uh, the only issue with this guy is that he's got that little extra shade of green on there that's not really necessary and that his ankles could have better range. Otherwise, the proportions are almost perfect. He's got his accessories that he needs. He's got the, the right armor, the right look. Everything about it is just the way we wanted it. I don't know why they couldn't continue this with the Halo 5 figure, uh, but this one, even at a much lower price point, is a much better figure, so you really can't go wrong with this Master Chief. While the Sparta Batman may not be based on an actual version of Batman, it is still by far the best Batman figure they have put out. It's unfortunate that it's not a traditional look, but it is still a really cool look nonetheless. Between the cape, the huge amount of accessories, the incredible amount of detail, the functionality of the whole figure, it's perfectly poseable, unlike the steampunk Batman. This thing is just great. It does come at a higher price point, but I didn't once feel like it was overpriced. I was very pleased with this figure, and I think anybody would be happy to have it in their Batman collection.